to grab the conference title. This game is actually, actually extra special for us because we actually go to these schools. Hi, my name is Jennifer Sunhee, and I'm from Portland. And I'm Brian Navarro from St. Mary's. Now our team's have traded wind over the past few years, and we've developed a little bit of a rivalry. I definitely think there's going to be a rivalry tonight. The Pilots want to win and punch a ticket into the championship. Now the Pilots have a balanced attack on the court with point guard TJ Campbell leading the pack. And Omar Sandman's going to be leader for St. Mary's. He led the conference in points, rebounds, and blocks, and he's going to get it in the middle, or he'll dish it out to McConnell, Steindl, or Delavado. They're all going to hit threes. This game is actually extra special for the Pilots because I spoke with head coach Eric Revenu today before the game. He was talking about his five seniors that are starting on the court. And did you know that they're actually his first recruiting class at UP? He said they'll be a memorable and emotional journey for them. There's a lot riding on this game. Let's get to it. Neither team waits long to put points on the board. Della Vadova scores on his first possession. He dials in the corner for three. Niedermeyer has a response for that three with one of his own right here. And guess what? Kiss definitely made an appearance in the pilot fan section. I wonder how long that paint's going to take to come off. Here Campbell goes into the paint and makes the layup. After that, Wally Pilot definitely does his Wally dance and pumping up the crowd. Campbell drives the ball into the paint again with a layup and plus one. But Mickey McConnell says the Gales are not out of this. He directs traffic from behind the arc and puts up an NBA size three. I say count that as four, folks. Omar Samhan works inside the paint and puts a little spin move on to get to most of his points came within the paint this evening. And here's his biggest fan, a two-year-old. Niedermeyer starts off the second half with by nailing a tray and sparking off a rally with that three-pointer. Campbell drives the ball and dishes to Sigma, showing tremendous teamwork and making that layup. But Omar Samhan says, no, that ain't going to fly with me. So he puts up four blocks on the evening. That one looked great. He held the Pilots to underneath 29% from the field in the evening. And now this time he's going to get another block, but the ball's going to bounce around and stay in the court. Jordy Page, the true freshman, goes sky high and dunks it. I didn't know he could do that. The Gales win 69-55. to that was the end of the semis. We're here at center court at the Orleans Arena. Portland started off the season strong, but sadly their flame has burnt out. It was a bittersweet ending to the 2009-2010 season and for the careers of those five pilots. The court is quiet now, but in just under 24 hours, 8,500 people will be screaming for their Zags or their Gales. It's the championship game everyone's been hoping for. The one seed and the two seed are going at it. You'll find in-depth coverage right here on WCCSports.com. For Jennifer Sunhee, I'm Brian Navarro, WCC-TV.